Welcome, good morning. On the previous episode we talked about road bikes geometry and today I'm gonna talk with you a little bit about mountain bikes and don't worry I'm not just picking on 29ers and this is not the let's go back to the old school uh, episode even though I do like uh, old school. I do love my 29er FSI that's for sure but there are some things even if you don't choose between 29er 27.5 uh, that you should look at the geometry, geometry chart when you choose between different models, all right? So uh, I'm going to show you basically three things and 29ers specifically, I'm going to exaggerate some things, can have some problems with the length of the bike, the height of the uh, bottom bracket, so the height of the bike uh, as a whole, and the height of the head tube. So, there must have been some reason that uh, Jules and Absalon didn't want to ride 29er, Nino Schuda didn't want to ride 29er, uh, Christoph Sauser didn't want to ride 29 There are some reasons for that and I'm gonna try to explain to you just as I know it and some basics that just work for me, okay? So first thing in terms of the bike handling, same as on the previous episode of the road bikes, is the head tube angle, I'm just gonna mention that. The slacker it is, just look at that episode, the harder to turn uh, with the bike, but the bike will be more stable at high speed. So the slackest uh, head tube angles you're gonna have uh, with the downhill bikes, because once more, high speeds and also you're gonna go downhill on the very, very steep um, descents. And then the steeper uh, this angle is and your fork, uh, the easier, the more nimble the bike will be, so easier to turn, but it can be pretty nervous. Now let's go to the to the topic of this episode which is how 29ers mess at least a little bit with the geometry. Now first thing first you can see how huge wheels 29 has and my old school uh, killer has. So this is 26 inch this is 29 inch and it's no brainer 29er will be longer. I can see that when I, I'm trying to put the bike into our small uh, car uh, but that's not the problem, the main issue. The main issue is when you ride the bike. I've noticed talking with many people who just bought 29 they say, man, it's so difficult to take that turn at the same speed I was taking uh, on the 26 er And they say, these huge uh, 29er inch wheels have this gyroscopic effect, so you're being just pushed off the, the, the curve, uh, the turn, the corner, and so it's it's less uh, manu maneuverable uh, the 29er it's uh, partially they are right but it's not only the wheels or the gyroscopic effect or the weight of the wheel but the geometry of the bike so the length of the bike would be the first thing here we have 26er and the wheelbase on this one so the distance between axle to axle would be just around 109 centimeters so 109 centimeters from the center of the wheel to the center of the wheel 29er 112 centimeters it would be pretty much the same for for most uh, of the bikes uh, scott scale will have around 112 uh, merida big nine good geometry also will have 112 so we already have three centimeters uh, more. I just talked to the guy who's very tall, he's 198 centimeters tall, and he said that 29er has been a relief for him because finally he, he feels like he's into the bike, not just on the bike or just even over the bike, which can be good. So longer bike is more stable. I think 29ers are the best bikes for marathons, especially with not so much climbing but climbing is also uh, okay but marathons very very good bikes so 29er will be longer significantly longer now this can be advantage as i said for marathons this can be a disadvantage if you want to go through some you know switchbacks and be really really nimble re really quick uh, then this wheelbase does not really help but then two other factors are the bb height not even the bb drop but uh, bottom bracket height, once more, on this bike, it will be just around 29 centimeters. So we have 29 centimeters between the ground and the center of my bottom bracket. And uh, on the Cannondale, it will be almost 31. It will be 
eight, I think, for this uh, FSI. So we have, um, let's say we have one and a half centimeters of a difference. You will feel that when you jump uh, on the 29er from the 26er with the same saddle height and you will, you will notice that it's much more difficult to, to hop up on the bike because it is higher. The higher the bike is, the higher the center of, uh, of our gravity, of our weight is. And I love, absolutely love, I enjoy super steep climbs you will notice that 29er is not that good for super steep climbs also. Super steep descents, if you go really slow, you wanna be super technical, having higher bike, one and a half centimeter matters. Now, it can be also the advantage because your crankset will be higher, your, your pedals will be a bit higher uh, over the ground, uh, but just, just be aware that you are sitting higher on the 29er and if you like technical stuff, you love steep climbs and descents, it's not gonna help you, all right? So this is something I would compare between the bikes because for example, the FSI has, uh, as I said, 30.8, but um, Scott scale will be even higher, maybe half, half a centimeter higher, which is almost two centimeters higher than my um, killer and the Merida Big 9, so 29 inch wheel, will be uh, lower than uh, FSI. So compare those because sometimes you like maybe two, three different models and then you pick the right geometry and you're at home. And then the third thing is the height of your front and you can see the difference between this uh, 26 inch bike and the 29er. I am exaggerating here because you're not gonna see my face, which is not so important here. Because uh, I have different um, grade uh, of the incline for my, for my um, stem on the 26er and also this 29er has double crowned fork, so the stem goes even higher. But I must tell you, on those steep climbs on the, on the episode I, uh, I made when I was cooked, really, on the steep climbs, this was way too high. It was just difficult to, to ride up the hill. So the stem should be really slammed down. If you look at the stem of, of some pro riders, they're just really, really steep going down because 29er is much higher in the front. Uh, Cannondale has made some offset on the fork, so the, the wheel went uh, more uh, further to the front. So there is a bit more clearance between the wheel and the frame, but still this is pretty, pretty high bike. So let's just take a look uh, at the end of this episode at this geometry. And I'm gonna just shortly sum up. So since my BB height is just higher than on, on the 26er, I'm sitting higher and I do feel that on the steep climbs and the descents. And also the top of my head tube is super high uh, on this bike. So this stem, for, for example, FSI, which is uh, made for racing uh, riders, should be going way more down. This one even goes up, it should be going down so that we could feel more comfortable, especially on those uh, uphills. And that's it. Um, I'm not talking about the rear end, so this part because um, the manufacturers have made a great job in shortening it. It's actually same exact length as my 26 um, uh, inch uh, bike. It's 43 centimeters. Let's just measure that up. If, you, if I remember what, exactly, it's 43. On the killer is 43 as well uh, on the 26 inch wheel. So the rear end, really good. The bigger wheels are really good, but uh, just make sure you, you choose the best geometry uh, for yourself because uh, the bigger wheel, the, diff completely, the, the geometry of the bike should be completely different. That's it, let me know what do you think about different geometries of different 29ers or maybe 27.5 uh, inch bikes and I'll be happy to, uh, to join the discussion there Thanks so much for watching uh, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.